people on YouTube. Nice to see you guys. It's been a long time. I am, but then I was praying in my head, just shook on a little bit. Um, well, um, today we're, this is the first video where we'll be studying, um, the book of Revelations. Um, I'll be, um, so, um, I'll be reading out of my, um, newest Bible, it's Waterproof New Testament. Um, and, um, I'll do these videos weekly just because I want guys to fully understand this and have plenty of time and I definitely recommend uh, reading along and um, reading this a few times, how uh, many times you think you need to read it before next before we go on to chapter 2 and um I would recommend after the video's over uh shutting down your computer and and just give yourself at least 25 minutes or just Keep it on your mind until you fully understand it, and and if questions come up, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below, or private message me, and I will re I will be checking that daily now while I'm doing this, just so I can try to get those answers to you as soon as possible. And if you, and if there are questions that I don't know, I will recommend people you could ask. Or, um, I will, if I don't know them when I get to them, I will get in touch with someone at my church probably, or my brother who studied Revelations. Um, and get you an answer. Uh, so, um, do you, um, The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him, to which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place, and he sent and significant signified it by his angel and it to his servant John who bore witness to the word of God and to test to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw blessed is he who reads 
and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it for this for the time is near <clears throat> the first three verses was talking about how, um, well, the the book of Revelations, the last book in the Bible, was written by John, when an angel of God um, uh, came to him. Well, um, in the time of the New Testament, the disciples were being persecuted and were being killed. They had attempted to kill John by poisoning him. But by a miracle that didn't work, he didn't end up dying. So they exiled him to an island. And that's where um, the angel of Jesus appeared to him. And, um, and told him of how the world will end and stuff. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ a faithful witness the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of, of the kings of the earth, from our sins in his own blood. And he has made us kings and priests of, to his God, and father to him be the glory of the domination forever and ever. Amen. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm praying at the same time I'm analyzing this, try to give context. Um. It's just praising God for His grace and Jesus' sacrifice made to us. Um, Jesus' sacrifice is what the gospel is is made for. Like um, in the book of Revelations, especially in like Exodus, where it talks about the Ten Commandments, <clears throat> the punishment. <laughs> For the Ten Commandments for sinning is death. All sin is punishable by death. And us as humans are sinful by nature. Um, but with the reason why. It, that's why we need God's help and the help of other godly people in our lives so we can learn to repent of our past sin, repent of sin. And up until then, um, for repaying sins, for people's sins to be repented, 
it would involve a blood sacrifice, which usually in the Old Testament and and up until uh, Jesus' sacrifice, it yeah, um, around that up until around that time with Jesus' sacrifice, um, it would often be your best animal of livestock. So like it, it's usually a lamb. And, um, kind of some stuff that went into it being thought of more of as a lamb being just because the white lambs were pure. So it'd be like, oh, your purest creature would be your whitest lamb. Um, and, and, um, Exodus for the um, the last plague was that the first child of of every family in Egypt would be killed. That was the last commandment. Um, but Moses gave um, but God gave Moses. A some a command for for God's people, the children of Israel that were um slaves to the Egyptians at the time. Um something to do to keep their firstborns from being killed. And what that was was that they would go out and kill their purest lamb, their best white lamb, and they would um, use its blood to cover their doors, their front doors, and then the angel of death would pass over them by seeing that blood on the door. And that's also where, where the, um, before Easter and Good Friday, um, and, um, it's still a Jewish holiday, Passover, which Jesus died on Passover, and then he came back. Like, Good Friday is remembering the day that Jesus died, and that was actually on the Friday known as Passover. And also, Jesus is not just, God and Jesus aren't just thought of as shepherds, but Jesus is also thought of as a lamb. Which actually, um, one of the uh, symbolisms that we talk about in, that we'll talk about later in Revelations is a, Lamb with with seven eyes and seven horns, and that's supposed to be supposed to represent Jesus. And the reason why the number seven is important is because in Revelations it was used to symbolize perfect. So the seven horns represented perfect power. And the seven eyes represented perfect sight. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I guess we didn't technically get off topic, but I kind of almost did. Um. Um, well, John, your brother, and Gim, if you're wondering where we're at now, we're on nine.
and then there are 9 out of 20 chapters. Well, I'm gonna... Uh...